Yeah, so I don't think this will be a shock when I say this, but every day when I wake up and I go onto TikTok, I see someone has posted a very controversial video. And today is going to be no different, because the video we're looking at has took over my For You page. Literally every couple of scrolls was somebody talking about this video or stitching it, giving their opinions, you know, and for the most part, people aren't happy with it. Now, before we do add some context to this, do just want to say it, trying to reach 500,000 subscribers here on YouTube, so if you haven't already subscribed, please do. That'd be bloody lovely. But yeah, either way, let's add the context, right? So we got Natalie Canoli here, who's got 19,000 followers on TikTok. Now, from what I can tell on her page, she posts like little like story time type videos. I mean, let's just find one to play as an example here. Six out of seven days of the week, I brush my teeth before bed, but I let myself have one day, one day of the week. It's usually a Friday night. It's like a little treat because I hate brushing my teeth. It's hard work. I mean, it's a crazy, crazy story time, isn't it? Well, Natalie actually posted a video a couple days ago talking about her sister that got a huge reaction. It's actually been deleted now. Well, I have found a re-upload of the video and it kind of cuts off the beginning bit, but the only bit that you miss here is basically she is saying that every time she meets somebody new in her life, she then proceeds to ask them this. Hey, can you look at my sister on Instagram? And they're like, why? And I'm like, just do it. Um, because long story short, my sis my oldest sister went no contact with our family like five or six years ago. No and like apparently it's not just a bit. Like she's like in it for the lifetime, like for the long haul. Yeah, so instantly you can see the way that she's talking about this situation is a bit weird. Like she's talking about her sister who's went no contact for like five or six years at this point, and she's like giggling about it and she makes jokes throughout this video. And it really does come across like she's being insensitive about the situation, like she doesn't really care about how her sister would feel about this video. And that kind of becomes more clear the more we watch. So I'll like go on their phone and I'll look up her Instagram and I'll find it and then I'll do some... I'm like her creepy ex-boyfriend that I can't even help it. <laughs> I mean, the way she's talking about this, like, the fact that her sisters went no contact, I would imagine that this was a very, very big deal for everybody involved. This was probably, and I am just assuming here, but this was probably a really hard decision for somebody to make. And the fact that it's been so long makes it seem as if something big happened. Again, we don't know all the details. But just to sit here and admit that you constantly berate your sister who doesn't want to have contact with you with a bunch of messages and comments being like, hi, it's your sister and all this stuff, even though she has you blocked and she doesn't reply to all these random messages, and then you're going over to TikTok to laugh about the situation. I don't know. I just don't feel like that would be something that would make your sister want to speak to you more. I don't get it. Hello, it's me, period. Dot, dot. Love and miss you. Hope we can talk. Um, always wishing you the best. You know, Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. Whatever it is, you know. And then immediately, like, she'll read it and, like, she'll just, like, block the account. And then, like, like yeah. the, the stranger's like, what the fuck is that about? And I'm like, it's a well, yeah, that's a re-upload of the video. I don't know how many people saw it. It's got 300,000 likes as of the screen recording, so I imagine it had millions of views, if I had to guess. Well, a lot of people were pissed off this video, and a lot of people responded with their own videos. Grieving the loss of your sister sucks, but it also sucks to have somebody not respect your boundaries so clearly. You talk about how you have no issue going on strangers' accounts on Instagram and DMing her repeatedly. Have you ever considered that maybe that represents a portion of her life that she left behind? Yeah, it definitely seems that way. And if I try to put myself into the sister's shoes here, the one who's getting all these comments nonstop from strangers' accounts, that would probably be something that would make me want to stay away more, especially if I saw you then post a TikTok video posting about it, like a very private matter, right? A family situation here. And not even just post about the situation, but laughing about it, constantly making jokes. Like, it's clearly a very serious situation if it's happened for like six years now. It really probably shouldn't be something to be joked about. You said that you got swept up in a generalization about your family, but have you ever considered that maybe you embody the exact things in your family that she's trying to avoid? I've gone no contact with my family at some point and we did come back together and now we have a really good relationship. And the last thing that I wanted during that time period is for my family to contact me repeatedly because I needed my space. And this isn't to say that you are a bad or an evil person, but maybe this is something for you to work on. Maybe rather than continuing to push your sister's boundaries, which she has clearly set, and DMing her from strangers' profiles every opportunity you get, and being like, it's just the sister thing, you wouldn't get it, you've never had a sister, maybe you should give your sister the time and space that she needs, because trying to force your way back into her life clearly isn't working, and that's not how you build a relationship. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, this video is actually quite nice, right? Just giving advice on the situation, but a lot of other people were very pissed off of it. This video pisses me off for so many reasons but she keeps saying to people oh you wouldn't get it if you don't have sisters so as someone who has no contact and has sisters let me explain this to you yeah just to add some context because the first person we reacted to here also said something similar she has made response videos which again have been deleted at this point but basically her response was like oh you won't get like a sister dynamic which is mental to say because the vast majority of people who are watching these videos probably also have a sister now i can't find full re-uploads of these response videos i can only find like really small clips to kind of 
show you what you're trying to say. Saying like, if you don't have a sister and you don't understand that bond, like... Yeah, I mean, like I said, that was such a short clip. The originals have been deleted, so I can't add the full context of responses, but that's what people are referring to here. The hardest parts about going no contact with family is also having to cut off your siblings because they immediately become flying monkeys. If you're not familiar with the term flying monkey, generally when we cut someone who is abusive out of our life, they start sending other people to do their work for them. So when you cut off parents, it is very commonly siblings who start coming to you and going, why did you block mom? She didn't do anything. You're ruining this for us. She's upset. All of that. And if you cannot set that boundary, that do not talk to me about this, do not excuse what I went through, you end up having to cut off your siblings as well. And it basically removes your entire familial circle. Because you cannot keep people in your life who are part of the abuse, who are still actively abusing you. And that is how I know you are part of whatever awful things happened to your sister, because you have not stopped. Yes, yeah, so as you can see by a lot of these response videos, people were pissed off about the situation. And I think it's not so much the fact that she went to go and talk about it, which in itself is bad, right? Like, why are you posting it online for millions of people to see? But it's also the way she was talking about it, right? Like, if you take any situation that's hurt you on an emotional level to the point where you don't want to speak to people for six years, right? Something's clearly happened to you. But if you just took any situation that hurt you on an emotional level and then you went and saw someone that you thought you trusted, like a family member or whatnot, going to TikTok to laugh about the situation, making it seem as if it's not really a big deal, making jokes saying, oh, you know, I just go on, like, some stranger's account and mesh them nonstop and then they get blocked. How funny is that? I mean, that would be hurtful to say and I don't see how Natalie doesn't get that. Also, abusers love to treat us going no contact as something just silly and like we'll get over it in a little bit. My parents don't know where I live. My parents weren't at my wedding. My parents don't know I got into a PhD program and my parents will know where I am after I move halfway across the country. I will never speak to them again. They will never meet their grandchildren. Like, they just do not exist to me anymore. And unless you want that to be the situation with your sister, leave her the fuck alone. Yeah, I mean, I can't sit here and pretend that I have any experience with anything even somewhat similar to this, but I would love to know people's opinions in the comment section down below. Because like I said, this had a very big response. And in fact, Natalie is still just kind of making jokes about it. And in fact, the only video that's still on her page that links this situation is this one here, kind of uh, making jokes about her haters. <laughs> I think it's clear to see that she finds this whole situation quite funny, which it, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Like, I just do feel bad for the sister because clearly something big must have happened for anyone to go away from their family for six years at this point. And just to see someone who's also a part of that family making jokes about it, it'd probably be so disheartening. We also have a bunch of comments we can read here to show what people's opinions are. Like this one right here said, she's the definition of toxic narcissist psychopath person. She's not trying to resolve a family conflict. She's trying to taunt her sister. I see why the sister is no contact. She made that whole post like it was so cute. If it was genuine, she would have used an account to send a heartfelt message or something, not be like, hi, it's me. Like it's so weird. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the general opinion that I've seen from the comment section. It's just a lot of comments like that. I don't think she's doing this in earnest. She's doing this to be antagonistic. She She's harassing her sister. I think like most instances like this, it is coming from a place of hurt. Um, I'm assuming that whatever, you know, caused her sister to go no contact probably affected her too, but she's fucking with her sister. <laughs> I mean, it does feel like that. And I can imagine that her sister would probably feel like that too if she saw the TikTok video. You know, just saying stuff like, oh, she's been no contact for like six years. Uh, I guess she's really doing it for the long run. Like just making little jokes. Like why is that even needed? I just hope Natalie goes to therapy because she's going to continue perpetuating this cycle with like interpersonal relationships. If she ever has children, like, nip this shit in the bud. I mean, look, I would love to hear people's opinions in the comment section down below, because like I said, I haven't had any experience with anything like this in particular, but I can still see why this video's had a massive negative response, because it seems very insensitive, right? Talking about a serious situation, making jokes about it. And as you can probably tell by some of the videos that we've reacted to here, it involves people who have been through something similar. And I think if they saw this video by Natalie, just making jokes about the situation, it would piss them off on a different level because they've had experience of this. But from what I can tell, it doesn't really seem like Natalie understands this. I mean, she's still making jokes about the whole video, right? Calling people haters and whatnot. As of right now, she hasn't made like a video properly addressing it. She's just made a couple of videos that have now been deleted saying, oh, look, you just don't understand. You don't have a sister bond, which makes zero sense. But yeah, either way, I'm going to leave the video there. This was just a situation that completely took over my TikTok account today. Like literally, as I was scrolling, there would be a video every like four scrolls talking about it. And and obviously I'm hoping that the sister's doing okay. I think there's a very big possibility that she'll probably see this TikTok video, right? Because so many people have seen it at this point. So I can't imagine what her reaction is going to be to it. I can't imagine it being a good one. Just speak about such a private situation publicly and making light of the situation. That wouldn't feel good for anyone. But yeah, either way, I'm going to leave the video there. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you are new here, please subscribe, all that stuff. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.